All right, now for our second video, we're going to talk about Garrett's hip, okay, and how we can release it, we can get a little bit more mobility, so then we can stabilize through that mobility, all right? So two critical things that we want to do um, in order to reestablish mobility is we want to make sure the skin glides well um, over the skin and the tissue glide well over one another, um, break up any lesions or adhesions that are formed in that area through some targeted foam rolling, and then we're also going to, to train the joint to move a little bit better throughout the range of motion, um, to recognize the fact that it actually has that range of motion. All right, now, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a tennis ball, we're gonna have Garrett roll his hip rotators, all right? So, he's gonna take the ball here, put it behind his butt cheek, cross one leg like a man, all right? It feels so good, and just hold in that position, okay? And what we can do is we can add some active range of motion by having you just lift your knee a little bit, and I'll bring it back down, okay? It's called mobilization with movement, and when we find, when we get over a spot of tension, we can just kind of use this to help to break up that spot a little bit, okay? So what we would normally do is I'm gonna have Garrett hold in this position uh, for about 30 to 60 seconds on each spot, you know, maybe spend about two minutes in total uh, with the ball in his hip and really break those spots up, okay? Just to release some stuff so then we can start to move with that, move into greater range of motion uh, with our targeted active stretching, okay? So now Garrett, let's move to our next drill here. I'm gonna have you hold in a pigeon pose. All right, so what Garrett's gonna do now is we're going to come into the position restriction. All right, so we're gonna cross this leg in front. Garrett, what I also want you to do, man, take your right hand and hold it, uh, hold this part of your leg so it doesn't slide back on you. Okay, sort of post up there. Now we're just gonna rock side to side. All right, I want you to kind of find those tight spots. All right, you'll notice that as you rock more, probably the side of your hip feels a little, a little bit tighter, yeah? Yeah. Right. And so again, we're gonna spend about one or two minutes in this position. Again, just clearing this stuff up, um, helping the joints move a little bit better now that we've freed up some, um, you know, some space for it. Okay, we're, we'll just, uh, you know, rock back and forth, all right? This, these two things can be seen as just kind of clearing the highway um, to then stabilize through the range of motion, all right? So our last drill in this sequence is going to be a glute bridge progression, okay? So let's get onto your back. One thing that we saw with the glute bridge test is Garrett wasn't able to stabilize in that position. His hamstrings were doing the work, okay? We want to make sure the glute is nice and strong and turning on at the right time. That's really a critical thing. So we're going to go through a progression here. I want you to straighten your legs out, all right? Put your hands in your butt, okay? Give yourself some love there. Yes. All right, now, I want you to tighten your left butt cheek five times, okay? Just feel the butt cheek tightening and release it. Okay, now, can you feel that butt cheek versus anything else? Okay, good. I want you to tighten your right butt cheek a couple times. Can you feel that, that butt cheek? Yes. All right, now I want you to make them dance back and forth about five times. All right? This is how we learn to dance here at Peak Fitness. But the point being is that Garrett, we want Garrett to be able to feel his glutes in an almost neutral environment with his legs straight. Okay, then as we progress back to a more difficult exercise, the right muscle will be turning on at the right time. And this doesn't really have to do with strength per se, but it's a timing thing, okay? Getting the right muscle to fire to do the right job. Okay, so now Garrett, what I want you to do is you're gonna bend your knees, all right? Now, I want you to hug your right knee in your chest. All right, now keep one hand on your butt cheek, okay? This is sort of the, you know, we would progress to here, and if he's not here yet, we can sort of take it down a bit. What I want you to do is just press through your heel, put your butt up in the air, and just sort of make sure that you feel it in your glute versus anywhere else. Come up and down about five times there. All right, think about tightening your glute in your hands, make that muscle work. Now, are you able to feel that more in your glutes than before, would you say? Yeah. Good. And that's the idea, is that it is a progression. You know, ultimately we want to move up to something where the, the right muscle is able to do the right work. And this is a great exercise to do um, before you go out on the golf course, you know, before you go out to play a baseball game, you know, whatever it may be. You know, and, and generally with this, I would advise the rolling, again, about one or two minutes, um, the stretch about, you know, one or two minutes, moving actively in and out of the range of motion, and then followed up by an activation drill for maybe one or two sets of 10 to 15 reps, all right? In our last video, we'll, we'll talk about how we integrate this all, all of this stuff together in a standing warm-up.